Hello everyone, welcome to the seventh online session of design of steel structure. So in this session also we are going to solve some more problems regarding the welded connection. So you have seen in the last session itself to calculate the strength, it is the area of the weld into the the value of the stresses. So is F W D equal to F W N divided by gamma W. So here it is shop weld. So therefore you can take this gamma M W has 1.25. If it was a field weld, it should be taken as 1.5. Then gamma W N equal to F U by root 3, where F U is the ultimate tensile strength of the weld or the parent material, whichever is the least one or the smaller one. Okay. For but uh, remember that but welds the but shall be treated as the parent material okay but weld shall be treated as a parent material with a thickness equal to throat thickness so the throat thickness will be equal to the plate thickness whichever is the least one and the stresses shall not exceed the permitted permitted in the parent material whatever the stresses which can be taken by the parent material that must be not should not be over over more than that it should not exceed so this is how the criteria are for the strength Okay, so fillet weld you have already seen strength of the fillet weld is 0.7 times the seven size of the weld into the length of the weld which will give you the area of the weld. Okay, so into Fu by root 3 into gamma W. For uh, butt weld, single butt V weld there is an incomplete okay, welding at the bottom. So strength of the butt weld will be equal to 5 by 8 T bar. Okay, T bar is the least thickness okay, of the two. T let T1 be the thickness of one plate, T2 be the thickness of the another plate. So whichever is the least of the thickness of the both, you will get the value of T bar into length into Fu by root 3 into gamma W. Same T1, if the double weld, then you need not need to take this 5 by 8, okay? It will be directly T bar into L into Fu by root 3 into gamma W. So this will be the strength of the weld, okay? So this is the strength of the butt weld when single V, but it is less when compared to double V but because there is an in incomplete welding in this case in the single V but okay it is not just for V but only it is happens for U but and here double U but okay this holds good for this also remember that same for J also J but double J but okay so for all these three cases the same thing will apply remember that not just for v it's applicable for single u but single j but same thing here it's double v instead of double u j but joint also double j joint also the strength of the weld okay the strength of the weld equal to t bar into l into f u by root 3 by gamma w remember that okay where t bar will be the least plate thickness L be the total length of the weld, gamma W partial shift factor according to S 800, 2007, page 30, table 5, okay, sharp weld 1.25, okay, and for uh, field weld it will be greater because in field you cannot maintain the conditions what is required, so therefore we have to take the higher factor of safety there, remember that. Then max specification minimum size of the weld should be 3 mm, maximum size for sharp weld it is S equal to T1 minus 5. This is the case. Okay, for a round edge, it is 3 by 4 the T. So this is the probability. We will maximum case take this value. Okay, for maximum. Then minimum size of the filled weld for cracking conditions. Okay, for cracking conditions, when the plate thickness is less, you can take it as 3 mm. Okay, less than 10 mm. Then if the plate thickness is 10 to 20 mm, in the one problem we have seen it, right? Minimum was 5 mm and maximum was 8.5 mm and we had taken 6 mm in the previous session. Hopefully you remember that one problem. So in this case, okay, so if the plate thickness is 20 to 32 mm, it is 6 mm. For 32 to 50 mm, it is 8 mm. These are the minimum, okay, uh, size of the weld, okay, yes, size of the weld, minimum size of the weld for 10 to 20 mm, it is 5 mm, okay. You have to provide more than this itself, okay. General specification says that it is 3 mm. It's okay, but if you want to avoid this cracking, okay, so the cracking conditions if you want to avoid, so it is better that you start with this itself, okay, depending on the plate thickness. If the plate thickness is between 10 to 20 mm, start from 5 mm, okay, and check for maximum size of the weld between those to provide an even number, okay, even round number you can provide it. Like in the last pro previous session, last problems what I have did, 
the size of the weld was minimum was 5 mm and maximum what we got minus t minus 1.5 was something 8 by 10 minus 1.5 we got it has 8.5 okay so we take the size of the weld as something equal to 6 mm so okay so don't need to take it close to this itself maximum take it here itself it will be okay so this is how we have to take the size of the weld. Once you take the size of the weld, you can find out the throat thickness. It is just 0.7 of the size of the weld. Then the length of the weld depends on the what will be the shape of the members. Okay, so that how that's how you have to find out the values. Now, this is for when this uh, ultimate tensile strength is given. If ultimate tensile strength is not given, you direct your allowable permissible stresses are given. It is just T bar into L into allowable permissible stresses that's it okay allowable permissible stresses so directly you can rep substitute that itself allowable permissible stresses where allowable permissible stresses will be equal to this itself okay this value will be equal to allowable permissible stresses you can directly do this itself no need to again divide it by root 3 or gamma mw it's just this much itself okay when allowable permissible stresses are given when you want to find out the strength of weld when f u is given okay then only use this formula when allowable stresses are given you can directly use t bar into l into allowable stresses will directly give you the strength of the weld remember that so the, these are the conditions what you have seen in the last few problems okay i have solved five problems there now let us go to the sixth problem okay so this is the common question in your exams one of the common questions okay design a weld connection for a tension member connecting of ismc okay 300 at so this is the weight of this section okay ismc 300 this is the weight to carry a load equal to the full strength of the member so it should carry a load which is equal to the strength of the member itself the length of the joint and the limit limited to 250 so length here it is limited to 250 it is given give, will be given in the question itself how much is the length will be limited okay so this is how it looks so this is an ismc means so in the remember that in the sketch won't be given only the problem in will be given you have to draw this sketch okay so first think of this ismc means a channel section okay then you have to place a gazette plate so this will be like this a gazette plate will be placed now if you draw this section how it will look okay this will be the legs okay then here you have to put the weld right in this with the perpendicular to the okay perpendicular to the laptop or the screen the where the angle channel section will be coming out remember that perpendicular to your screen whatever you are seeing perpendicular to the screen that way your this weld will be coming out this channel section will be coming out so weld will be provided here so here it will be a gazette plate which will be placed now here you have to provide this well weld okay so let us find out the what will uh, uh, what will be the weld required okay this length required to provide the to show that the equal value equal value strength can of the member can be taken care of so ismc 300 now okay the length the limited length to 250 so this is very important here the length is limited to 250 that's why you have can only take it up till here 250 then 300 this is the channel section width then 250 again so this is how you have to draw the sketch itself first then the forces are acting in this way okay in here it is acting so this is how the sketch looks like okay now first thing so ismc 300 at the rate 35.8 kg per meter so first you have to find these values of the channel section from the steel book okay steel handbook okay steel tables from those you have to find these values so for two problems i will show how to take the values next yeah, you can take it okay so let me go to the steel tables now so this is the steel table so we have to go for ismc 300 okay so this is j so ismc so this is in we are still in the beams first comes the is jb okay starts from here table one rolled steel beams will be started we have to go for ismc 300 okay so this is again in beam l this is an mb so we are still in i section okay then again it will be still in i section itself it will be wb as well as the hb okay still is hb 450 this is the maximum i section value you can take 
okay then the channel section comes into picture okay then look at it correctly so first is isjc okay then lc will come into picture after that mc okay don't directly take the values of jc or lc it will be totally wrong okay so check properly which value you have to check so in the problem it was given as is mc 300 this is the required value okay ismc 300 okay so the they have given you the weight also okay that is 35.8 okay then the value of area okay wait a second so okay the value of area so this is the weight per meter so they have already given it is as 35.8 okay then you have, what you required is the sectional area okay we required the sectional area the depth okay width of the flange with thickness of the flange the thickness of the web these all things we required so let's mark that for ismc so it is 45.64 will be the area in centimeter square okay remember this only value will be given in centimeter others other things are will be in mm okay this value you have to write it down properly in your books okay in your books this in the steel table it is provided as centimeter square but while substituting you need it to be in mm square remember that then the depth of the section okay so the depth of the section ismc 300 it is 300 itself it is okay then the width of the flange width of the flange is 90 then the thickness of the flange the thickness of the flange is 13.6 okay then the thickness of the web the thickness of the web is 7.6 okay so these values are enough for this problem to solve so here are the values for ismc 300 35.8 what will be the area the area of the sectional area in centimeter square will be 5.64 then the depth of the section will be equal to 300 mm okay then the value of the width of the flange will be equal to 90 then the thickness of the flange will be equal to 13.6 then the thickness of the web will be equal to 7.6 so these are the values okay for a rolled steel channel section remember which we require now is a channel section that is ismc 300 okay now let us go back to the slides okay so remember this value 90 13.6 7.6 so let us now go back to the slides so we see in the slide ismc 300 35.8 kg per meter cube the area is 45.64 in centimeter square so most of you will go wrong itself will directly write it in mm square but it is given in centimeter square okay remember that then tw 7.6 i have shown it okay tf 13.6 now the value of the thickness of the plate will be the least <coughs> okay it is 7.6 you can directly take this because the plate thickness has been not given so take this as the least value 7.6 then the full strength of the member tdg will be equal to ag into fy into gamma m naught so whenever there is a gamma m naught again i am repeating whenever you have to take the yield strength in the bolted connection as well as the in the welded connection if fy comes into picture it is gamma m naught which is equal to 1.1 okay while finding out the total strength of the plate itself okay the total strength of the plate will be during the yielding itself so when you take this value as 250 so the gamma mw naught will be equal to 1.1 so this is how you are going to take the value okay for the full strength of the member tdg okay tdg will be equal to area ag okay area ag this value now it is 45.64 centimeter square it will be 45.54 for 4564 mm square so this we have to substitute in mm square remember here so most of you will directly either directly substitute here or directly written as that mm square and write it as 45.64 then the total value will be wrong remember that into 250 the yield strength of the material divided by 1.5 you will get it has 1337 in 1037.27 uh, into 10 to the power of 3 newton so in, into 10 to the power of 3 i have directly written it as kilonewton so this is the value of tdg then the total length of the butt weld okay so to find out the total length first let us for you we don't know this this total length okay just that randomly we have said that we can apply here the welding now we have to find out whether it is enough or not to carry this amount of load okay the total amount of load will be equal to this much one zero three 
7.27 okay 1037.27 is the amount of load which will be coming on this member now we have to check whether this will be the amount of weld required or we required the more amount of weld so for that let us find out the total length of the weld so first to find out the total length of the weld we need the size of the weld so the maximum size of the weld will be equal to s minus s equal to t minus 1.5 7.6 minus 1.5 it is 6 mm so the maximum will be this much so we can take it as 6 mm okay we can take it as 6 mm Okay, most of the cases if you see in the problems, we will take the size of the weld, fillet weld equal to 6 mm. Now, the force will be equal to, that is the strength of the plate will be equal to the strength of the force, okay, total load coming on it will be equal to 0.7 S into L, which will be the area of the, okay, which will be the area of the weld into Fu by gamma f u by root 3 into gamma m w okay whenever there is a gamma m w you have to take it as 1.25 and then f u value if not given in the problem you have to take it as 410 so 1337.27 which is the amount of the load which can be carried by the plates so that will be the total force on the plates now you have to make sure that the weld also will have carry this much amount of force okay so the failure uh, if the force exceed 1037.27 then there will be a failure in both in weld as well as the plates because the both has to carry the same amount of strength the both the weld strength as well as the plate strength will be the same that is 1037.27 this is the maximum load which will be carried from the weld as well as the plates remember that therefore if you substitute all the values and find out the value of weld the required value of length is equal to 1304 uh, okay mm 1304 mm this much will be the length required okay this is the well length required available length is just 800 so how 800 it is 250 250 500 plus 300 800 so 800 mm is the available length okay more than that we cannot go why because it is limited the length is limited to 250 mm now here it is 300 mm we cannot do anything so we so there there is ismc channels right so we have to provide like this the channels now okay now the channel we have to for most of the cases it is enough to provide only four channels like this four way okay so for balance length the balance length will be 1304 minus 800 so this is the amount of length required but this much is the available length which we can provide so what is the balance amount it is 1304 minus 800 is find out four cut the channel section as shown so we have to cut this channel section in this way so let us make sure there is a four length one two three and four so let us divide this five not four by four that is 126 let us take it as 130 now okay 130 now the actual length will be 300 okay this length 300 okay into 2 into 250 this one time second time into 4 into 130 so if you take this we will get it as 1320 mm this will be the actual length of the weld what we required was 1304 what what we got is 1320 therefore hence it is safe this is how we are going to provide now what will be these distances okay now for a minimum this gap should be between 20 mm so let us provide this gap as 30 mm between the two members remember that 30 mm here 30 mm here this is 30 mm the gap okay 30 mm now what will be this gaps now this distance this okay the plates outside plates okay this will be 300 minus 30 minus 30 which will be equal to 240 divided by 3 okay so it is 300 minus 30 minus 30 of the two the channel sections okay divided by it will be 240 which is divided by 3 you will get it has 80 so this plate will be equal to 80 okay here this distance will be equal to 80 this distance again will be equal to 80 this distance will be equal to 80 so we need to find out everything okay therefore it is 300 okay so this distance will come into picture 80 plus 30 plus 80 plus 30 30 plus 80 will directly become 300 here also you are going to provide the weld again while cutting in this manner here it is 130 so this length okay from here till here that is 130 mm for all the cases that is why he has mentioned here a so this is equal to 130 mm this is how we are going to provide the welds okay now we can ask me what is this type of weld called as this type of weld is called as plug weld 
So as I mentioned, wherever we cannot provide a fillet weld, we can provide a plug weld, I said. So in these zones, we cannot provide the fillet weld. We have to go for the plug weld. So this is one of the problems regarding the plug weld, not the fillet weld. So in the last and the previous session itself, I have mentioned that designing of the plug weld is same as that of the fillet weld. So we have designed it according to the fillet weld. In the last step, we have gone for the plug weld because the the length wasn't sufficient for us, okay? If we wanted to provide the fillet weld, it will be just 800 mm, okay? But the total required length will be equal to 1304. So for that, to provide that much amount of extra length, we have gone for this cuttings, okay? The cutting in this way. So the channel sections will be cut in this direction where A equal to 504 divided by 4. That is equal to 126, that is equal to 130 mm. So this is how we are going to provide in this problem. So hence, one thing you have to check that we have to whatever length we have provided, it should be greater than the required length. Okay, we are providing the here the weld length equal to 1320 mm. So let us solve one more problem regarding that a tie member. So this is the seventh problem in the welded connection. A tie member consists of MC that is Indian standard again medium channel section of 225. There was 300 now, it is now 225. Of 2.250 kilonewton per meter. Okay, the channels are connected to the either side of the gusset plate of 12 mm thick. Design the weld to develop the full strength of the tie. So, whatever the strength of the tie or the plate, that will be the strength of the the welding also. The tensile strength of the plate is 0 0.6 Fy newton per mm square. Here, the tensile strength is given, so you cannot take Fu value. So, the tensile strength is given. It is 0.6 Fi Newton per mm square, the overlap is limited to 400 mm. So here also the overlap is limited to 400 mm. Now from the IS handbook number 1, the value of MC225, okay, 0.25. Let us go to the handbook for one last time, okay. Other problems, just I will just show you these values, okay. For this one problem, I am showing for MC225, what is the value of the thickness of the web, that is 6.4, how it comes, the thickness of the flange and the area. These three things are mean. So the area will be 33.01 centimeter square. So this will be the amount of area. Okay. Here we have to write it in mm square. So let me show that in your uh, steel tables itself. So it is here ISMC 225. So okay. So 25.9 is the the kg per meter they have said so kilonewton they have divided it okay now the value of area as i mentioned earlier the centimeter square it will be given that is equal to 33.01 ismc 300 this is the value which we required again we have taken the channel section itself then the depth okay depth if it is 225 it will be 225 itself that is not required for us 80 this is the well, width of the flame, this is also not required for us. The thicknesses are important. Remember, for us, the thickness of the web band, the thickness of the flange are important. Why? Because we have to take the least of these two. So, TF and TW are important for us. That is, TF is 12.4 and TW is 6.4. This is the two things which is required. So, from the steel table, you have to take three values. One is the area, one is the thicknesses. So, two values, okay? Two values in the sense there will be three values. One is area, thickness of the flange, thickness of the web. So, there are three values which you have to take it from the steel tables or the handbook, okay? From this, you have to take the three values. Other values will not be required for these cases, okay? So, this is how we are going to take the values. So, this is for IMCMC, 33.01 is the area, TF 12.4, TW 6.4. So, this is the thickness of the flange, thickness of the web and the sectional area. This is how we are going to take the values. So let me go back to the slides now. So here in the handbook I have seen, you have seen already the thickness of the web is 6.4, thickness of the flange is 12.4. The sectional area, it was given as I mentioned earlier, it is as 33.01 centimeter square. So in the handbook or the steel tables, it will be given as 33.01 centimeter square. So, you have, you have to take the area in mm square. So, 33.01 mm square. The tensile strength, okay. If the, okay, if the stresses are given, you have to take it as area into stress. If Fu is given, uh, if not, what will be the formula of the strength? Ag into, okay, Fu by, okay, gamma 1.1, okay, Fy, okay. 
this is the value what you are going to take it in the other cases. So here instead of that they have only said that the tensile stresses in the plate is given as 250 okay 0 0.6 into 250 so that value you have to take so area 33.01 mm square into 0 0.6 into 250 because they have only told divided by 1000 so that the value will directly get it in kilo newton why am I dividing by 1000 it is due to because to get the value in kilo newton itself so ag into fy okay ag into fy divided by 1.5 instead of that we are going to take the value of fy directly has 0 0.6 of fy now let us provide a weld of 4 mm okay let us provide a weld of 4 mm let's see for 4 mm why 4 mm that is you can take t minus okay size of the weld s sorry size of the weld has t that is 6.4 okay 6.4 minus 1 so that is almost equal to 5.4 so let us take it as 4 mm weld okay let us take it as 4 mm weld then the strength of the weld per meter length okay per meter length the strength will be equal to 1 into 0 0.7 into 4 into 110 okay the 110 is the strength okay yield strength uh, of the uh, this and divided by 100 so the permissible strength is given it will be given in the problem okay here that one line is skipped so it is given as 110 divided by 1000 so allowable stress here also it is 110 okay allowable permissible stress in the member equal to 110 so in divided by 100 uh, sorry divided by 1000 the 1000 value is that we have to get it in kilo newton okay so 110 here also in the last in the previous session also the 110 one value is the one sentence has been missing okay the value okay the allowable permissible stress is 110 okay so it is equal to 0 0.30 kilo newton that is the strength of the weld per mm now the total length of the filled weld necessary for one channel section equal to so one channel section what will be the necessary amount it is 1600.07.66 mm that is the necessity now they have told you that we, the overlap limited is 400 so overlap is limited to 400 and the channel height is 225 okay so what will be the total this 400 225 plus 400 which will be equal to 800 then 1000 1225 1225 will be the length required but you required 1607 so okay did you get it so 400 plus 400 800 okay 400 plus 400 800 plus 225 1000 125 so that is the available length but what we needed to provide it is 1607.6 mm okay this is the amount we need to provide so for that we have to take we have to cut this section into like this kind of channel section so the overlap channel is limited to 400 width of this slot should not be less than three times the thickness so width of this slots okay should not be less than three times the thickness so three into 6.4 3 into web thickness 6.4 it is 19.2 so let us take it as 20 mm in the last game in the last problem we haven't done like this we have directly taken is 30 it's fine okay if you take it here also 30 it's fine nothing wrong in that the distance but so this is the how method procedure to find out this distances here then the distance between the edge and the slot of the channel between the adjacent slot should not be less than the the 12 uh, the thickness okay edge and the slot so it is 2 into 6 6.4 it is 12.8 mm okay so provide the distances as shown so we can provide this distances as shown that is 60 mm this is 60 mm then 20 mm then 65 mm then 20 mm into 60 mm so total length will be 400 plus 225 less this now you have to find out what will be this distance okay so let okay what will be this distance you need to find out so how do you find out that distance so it is 1607.6 minus 400 minus 400 minus 225 okay so that length okay let the x length will be 800 plus 225 400 plus 400 top and the bottom plus 225 this length into 4 times the x okay in, so minus 2 uh, times the 20 because this here also it is included so it is 1067 will be the total length required therefore the length of x is 155 we will provide it as 160 mm long so this length will be equal to 160 mm that is the x length okay 160 mm for all the cases this length till here to here it is 160 mm so this is how we are going to 
provide it that is the length of the okay that is the weld length. now here also this for this part we are going for the plug weld not the fillet weld okay the fillet weld is not pro cannot be pro easily provided in these types of joints so you have to go for the fillet uh, plug weld okay so this is where the problem ends so you very important is to draw the sketch also in each of the problem you have to show the where the welding is taking place okay so each of the cases you have to show this welding diagram also so let us go to the next problem a design of a weld connection for a tension member isa 100 into 65 into 8 mm is connected so this is an indian standard angle section so angle section means in this way okay 165 that is unequal angle this is 100 okay this is 100 and this is 65 okay the first one will be the height wise then the uh, sorry vertical wise then the horizontal wise this is 65 this is 100 okay mm connected by the gusset plate okay with the two sides weld so two sides means at the top as well as the bottom if they ask for three side then here itself itself also they can weld it the tensile load of the member is equal to the full strength of the member so whatever will be the strength of the member the weld strength should also be the same either it should be the same either it should be greater than the plates okay so you have to find out the length l1 and n2 in the l1 and n2 whatever here dots you can see it will that will l1 and l2 will be the perpendicular to the screen itself remember it will be perpendicular to the screen this angle section will be coming out from the screen itself so the, in 3d view if you want to imagine this l uh, channel uh, sorry this angle section will be coming out from the screen itself okay now here the two important value is lx and c axis so this is taken from the steel table itself the value of l axis and c axis for this angle section okay so if you refer that steel table you will get this value also directly so from the area first thing what we required is the area so i have already told you how to see that area so the area equal to 12.5 cm square not in mm square first thing it will be given in cm square therefore it is equal to 12.5 cm mm square okay from the area of this unequal okay unequal se uh, angle section indian standard angle section unequal angle section okay then this from the steel table itself the c axis value is 3.2 centimeter okay centimeter is given that is 32.8 mm then 6.2 centimeter therefore it is 67.2 mm then tdg it is ag into fi into gamma naught whenever there is fi it is gamma m naught so 250 divided by 1.5 that is 2.85 into 6.6 kilonewton therefore the length of the weld it is s t minus 1.5 these two values minimum so it is 6.5 mm and 6 mm so let us consider s value has 6 mm the size of the weld remember the size of the weld is 6 mm now the force or the weld strength equal to 0.7 l by fu into root 3 by gamma m naught so the required force is 285.6 what we have found out the value of the plate will be equal to value of the weld so whatever with the strength that taken care by the plate will also the weld also will take care the same amount of force or the that will be the same amount of strength taken care by the weld also so weld strength equal to 2.85 285.6 equal to 0.7 into 6 into l by 410 by root 3 into 1.5 so the l value equal to 359.08 mm so this is the required amount of length 315 5.9 mm but here what we have to do we have to find out the l1 and l2 so we have to make sure what will be the length l1 which we need to provide what will be the length l2 which will be needed to provide we have to find out that okay so for that finding out l will be equal to l1 plus l2 now we have to take the moment with respect to section 11 so either you can assume it with section 11 i am assumed it at the top okay where l2 is present you can assume it wherever we are not okay wherever you need now what will be the moment okay now here one more important point is that the how to take this moment the force okay the force 285.6 will be the force of the plate so it will be acting okay it will be acting at the bottom let us say so the force okay 285.6 into 67.2 that is the l x x so wherever <coughs> here the force will be acting at the center order so sorry the force won't be acting here the force will be acting somewhere here okay force so the force will be acting here so if you take the moments from here it is this distance the force that is 285.6 into the distance l x x okay force into l x x is the one okay if you take the moment the force into its perpendicular distance that is l x then the uh, force will which will be acting here let us take that has the second that is the strength of the weld okay strength of the weld for l1 
okay strength of the one for the length l1 not for length l2 it is length l1 and it's it's perpendicular this perpendicular distance from here to here it's perpendicular distance from here to is here is the total dimension that is to, the total dimension is 100 mm okay so first the force into perpendicular distance first two forces will be acting one is this to force f okay for it the perpendicular distance will be l axis so at l axis the force will be acting remember that then to calculate this length l1 the strength that uh, strength due to l1 length okay into its perpendicular distance that is 100 now how do we calculate the strength due to l1 using the same formula f into l x x equal to 0.7 into s into l so it is l2 okay l2 okay so f u by root 3 into gamma m w okay into 100 that is the dimension okay so that is 2.5 into 0.7 into 6 into l2 so uh, in this case let us make this as l2 and l1 wherever there is a section 11 let us make it as one l1 and where here it is l2 okay this change it okay this is l1 this is l2 so therefore the l2 value is 241.3 or 241 mm okay 241 let us consider as 241 mm so substituting all the value okay 245.86 the length then 67.2 Okay, then 0.7 s value is 6, l2 value is what we require to find out f u by root 3 gamma m w. So we have to find the this is the amount of strength taken care by this length of the weld, l2 length of the weld. Okay, so this is the perpendicular distance, this 100 as well as this l x x. Remember that. So therefore the l2 value is 241 mm. Therefore the value of l1 is 101 to 118.08 mm. Okay, this will be the L1 value and this will be the L2 value. This is where the problem ends. So this type of problems will be asked in the exam. So solve it, then only you'll get the idea how to take this moments. Okay, so to how to take this moments, how to get this value, you have to get an idea. Okay, so therefore this value of L axis and C axis will come into picture, and these values are taken from the steel table itself. So where this L axis will there, there only your force will be acting. So the force should be taken, okay, from the perpendicular distance from the one section 11 okay or section 22 you can take to get the value of l1 volta you can also do so this is where the problem is so you have found out the weld distance so this is the what we call the design now let us see so l2 equal to 250 so let us round it off okay let us round it off so this is 241 this is 118 right let us round it off l2 equal to 250 and l1 equal to 120 so total will be 370 which we required was 359 hence the design is safe so we have to round it off to an even number or a okay round it off to a zero nearest zero that is 250 and 120 so it is enough 370 mm is the total length mm okay don't forget to write the units okay the okay with units only we have will carry the marks hence the design is safe so here the problem ends next one now here what they have done is they have, we have provided two plates okay two angle section at the two locations of the gazette plate okay a tie member of a roof truss consists of two isa that is two indian standard angle section of 100 into 75 into 8 mm the angles are connected on the either side of a 10 mm gazette plate so this is the gazette plate 10 mm okay subjected to a working load remember working load is given 300 kg design the weld connection made up of shop so here it is the gazette plate is 10 mm and the plate two angle plate one is at this side one is at other side they, they have provided now you have to find out the length l1 and l2 that is here L1 and L2, L1 and L2. That is we are need to provide it. And L axis and C axis will be in the center. Remember that. Now from the steel table, area equal to 13.6 centimeter square, 1336 mm square. Then C x value is 3.1 centimeter, so 31 mm. X C um, L x equal to 6.9 centimeter. This is L x x. Okay, 69.9 mm. So T1 equal to 10, T2 equal to 8. Okay, the gazette plate thickness will be 10 mm, and the thickness of the the angle section. Okay, this angle section will be 8 mm. The okay, so the working load will be equal to 300 kN. The factor load which we are designing is 300 into 1.5, 450 kN. Most of you will forget this step. Don't forget this step. We are designing this for the factored loads. Then S equal to T minus 1.5 T. The least of these two cases. Okay, therefore the value of T is equal to The least of the eight, ten, or eight, that is eight mm, will be the value of T. So S equal to eight minus one point five, that is six point five. Let us take it as six. Okay, then S equal to three point four times the this. This is also equal to six. Therefore, the size of the weld is six. 
Now force required 0 0.7 into S into L by F U by gamma M W 450 into uh, into 10 to the power of 3 by 2. Now they have already specified you the working load. Okay. In the last problem, in this problem, what they have done is that they haven't given you the any load. They have directly mentioned you that the strength of the plate will be equal to the strength of the weld. So therefore, you needed to find out this value for the plate. The what will be the strength of the plate? But in this problem, they have specified you the load itself. So the load we have to taken care by the weld. Remember, in this problem, the load should be taken care by the well, so the load will be 450 mm factor load, not the working load, factor load. So the 450 mm should be taken care. Now, because there are two gazette, uh, two angle plates, okay, because there are two angle plates, one plate will be taken care of the half of the load, other will be taken care by the half of the load. So the one, the load coming on the one angle plate will be equal to 450, okay, into 10 to the power of 3 divided by 2. This will be the amount of force coming on to the one of the angle plate. Remember that first step you have to do is this 450 by 450 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by 2. Okay, That is what is done here. So the, that this much amount of load will be coming on the one angle section. So for first angle section we are going to find out what will be the length required. Okay, So that is L 400 into root 3 divided by 1.25. So L equal to 282.8 mm that is 283 mm. No, same. It's taking the moment. So one one is here, two two is here. At two two L two L one. Now the moment. So here, what will be the force acting? So for only one angle section, we are considering not we are designing two at a time. We are taking only one angle section, same as the last problem. So 450 into 10 to the power of three will be the force coming on the one angle section. Okay, divided by two will be the force into its perpendicular distance. That is L x. Okay, next to find out the L. L2, it is the strength of the weld due to L2 that is 0.7 into the size of the weld into the L2 divided into Fu by root 3 gamma MW that is the strength of the weld into its perpendicular distance that is this distance which is equal to 100 mm. So this is how we are going to find out the moment. Moment equal to force into perpendicular distance. Two forces will be there. One is the force which is given in the problem divided by two because there are two angle section. In the last problem we have directly taken this force. In this problem we have to divide it by two because there are two angles at the two sides. Then 0.7 into S the size of the weld which is provided and L2 the length what we need to find out Fu by root 3 into gamma MW. So that is what is written here F into CXX. Okay? There's into 0.7 into S into L2 by F U by root 3 into gamma M0. So 450 into 3.2 into point. So value, the L2 value will be equal to 90 mm. Okay, the value of L2 will be equal to 90 mm and L1 will be equal to 283 minus this one 200 mm. So let us stay round it off. 193, let us take it as 200. So 200 plus 90, 290. So it is equal to, which is greater than 283 mm. Hence the design is safe. Therefore, the design is safe. Remember that. So this is how we are going to solve these problems. Okay, so this is how we are going to find the values of the the uh, values for the welds. Remember, here design means you have to find out the where the length of the weld. So this is the length of the weld L1 and the length of the weld L2. Now one more last problem: design the three-side weld. Now they have specifically mentioned three sides. That is one, two, three. Three side for an angle section of ISA, same angle section is given 90, 60 into 8, subject to a force of 250 kN. Okay? So we need the factor load 1.5 into 250, that is 375. Okay? It is acting at a distance from EX6, okay? EX6 that is 37.5. Okay, that this much is the amount of force that is at a distance of 60.4. This is from the steel table I have directly taken and I have directly shown in the sketch itself. At the bottom it is 29 point CX6, which is from the bottom. So you you can ask me where is this? This is given properly in the steel table in the diagram at the top. So in the steel table itself, this diagram will be properly kept the mentioning of the E axis as well as the C axis. Okay, from there you can take this value that is 60.4 mm. So it is given as 6.04 centimeter. So you have to convert it into mm. Remember that L1 and L2, which you require to find out, and this length is already known to you that is 90 because of the section that is 90. Right. Then ISA 90 into 60 into 80. Now, from the steel table, you will get this value of CXX and EXX. Okay. Then the size of the weld is 3/4 the angle thickness. Okay, 3 by 4 the 8. That is 6 mm. 
okay which will be the least then the force of the strength of the weld equal to 0.7 into s okay that is the throat thickness 0.7 that is 7.7 into 6 into l okay that is what we require to find out f y divided by root 3 into gamma m w so the strength is already given in the problem itself 370 the 5.375 kilo newton okay here you need not need to divide it by two, two sides because here is only one angle section is given if there is another angle section given then you have to divide it by two so it is not required here so 375 into 10 to the power of 6 0 0.7 into 6 into l by l into 410 by root 3 by 1.25 so the l value will be equal to 472 mm therefore this will be equal to l1 plus l2 into 90 so they have mentioned specifically as three side one two 3. So, this distance you already know. So, just minus that distance. Okay. So, L1, L2 plus 90. So, L1, L2 will be equal to 382 mm. Then, taking a moment of all the forces about 1, 1. So, now what is the next step? Taking the moment. So, force 375 into 60.4 mm. Okay. 1 moment. Then, for the L2. Okay. Distance is 90. Then, the strength of the weld at L2 will be equal to again 0.7 size of the weld S into L2 into Fu divided by root 3 okay, into gamma Mw. This is the value. Okay, gamma Mw that is 1.25. So, this is the strength of the weld. So, strength of the weld 0.7 into 6 into L2 divided by 400 and divided by root 3 into 1.25 into 90. So, if you substitute that value, if you find out the value of L2, you will get it as 271 mm that is the value of L2. So, L1 will be equal to 271 plus uh, 3 equal to 382. If you minus that you will get it as 115. Okay, you can take it as L1 has equal to 120 mm. Okay, and L2 equal to so round it off do not keep it like this equal to and 280 mm round it off. Okay, 280 mm. So, this is the length of the weld which will be required. Then the one more side length will be equal to L3 which is equal to 90 mm which is the size of the section itself. Okay? So, these are the three lengths which is what we have designed for. Okay? So, this is where the problem ends. Now, these are your assignment problems. Okay? Same uh, problems what I have solved in the this session itself it is there. Okay? So, the time member of IS angle the angle section on each side gazette plate is uh, 10 mm. So, the factored axial load is given okay, 500 kilo newton. So, two angle section are given design the weld connection for made up in the shop weld. Then again a welded connection shown in the 80, 80 10 to the power working load of given. So, you have to design this weld. Okay? So, uh, I have taken from, from the steel table only. So, first step we will forget that is why I have written it here. You have to multiply because it is working you have to multiply by 1.5 this is from the steel table. So, refer the steel table, check whether this is proper, then only go forward. Okay? Then you have to find out the value of L1 and L2. This is the second problem assignment. Then the third problem, okay? a time member of a roof says 2 ISA section, the angles are connected on either side of the gazette place, same working pull. Okay? So, working you have to multiply with 1.5, design the welded connection for the shop. Okay? You have to find this also. Then design a welded connection for ISMC, Indian Standard Channel section okay, of 300 mm subjected to a force. This is the problem for the plug weld. So, okay, here it is limited to 250 mm. This is limited. Okay? So, you have to provide a channels like this. So, you have to find out the value of x and everything. So, solve these problems. Okay? So, I will end this session here. Thank you.